before we get started with the video today guys, I want to let you viewers out there know that only a small fraction of you guys currently watching are actually subscribed to my channel, so make sure to smash that subscribe button for instant updates about videos that I release and other announcements, and also smash that like button to help my channel out. Enjoy the video! Yo, what is up guys? It is Smool, back here again with another Epic 7 Should You Pull video, and today I'm going to be talking about whether either Vivian or Lilius are worth pulling for. I'm also going to be covering whether either their artifacts are worth buying from the Powder of Knowledge shop, and my personal thoughts and where they're strong in. Now without further ado guys, let's get started. Starting off with Lilius guys, Lilius is a fire knight, she used to be a beast in PvP a long time ago, about like a year ago I'd say, she was almost first pick worthy in RTA matches, pretty close. Um, she's still good in PvP now, but she has fallen off. In PvE, she is a monster, she always has been. Um, people compare a lot to Aeros, because they do kind of fit similar roles in similar areas. But the thing is, Lilius is a monster in Hall of Trials. She will carry you super hard in Hall of Trials if you really need those um, daggers to card um, quests done, if you need to get high scores for your exclusive equipments, because you can never have too many of those. And also, even in like Raid, she's very powerful in auto teams, very powerful in um, like A13, Golem and even Expedition, so just a very strong unit in PvE and pretty decent in PvP as well as like a cleanser or even a damage dealer. So let's get into her skills real quick. Um, so you'll see her S3 is an AoE attack, it full cleanses your entire team. This is one of her most powerful um, abilities, there's not a lot of full cleanses in the game, and to have it on a knight unit is really nice because she can also hold Aureus and mitigate damage for your team. It also will CR push the enemy and will also deal damage according to the attack of the hero on your team with the highest attack. And it'll also see our pusher as well, so it's a very overloaded kit, guys. There was kind of a meme running around a long time ago that Lilius was just an ML5, <laughs> even though she's fire, because that's how OP she was. But yeah, this skill is super OP. Um, it's really good as like a cleave skill as well. You can actually cleave with Lilius if you just give her crit chance and like crit damage. And you just pair with a unit that stacks attack, like Summertime Assyria, Ram, Gunther, Senya, the, are the four most, most popular ones. And you just wipe people off the map or off the game with um, Lilius's S3. It's very, very powerful, uh, but the most common usage that I've seen recently is just as a like cleanser, because um, her S3 does have a cleanse. So very overloaded skill. You can use this in two ways, basically, just like, as like a cleansing ability or just like a full cleave ability. So very, very versatile. Um, that's kind of the name of the game for Lilius. She's just, a, she's just a very versatile unit with a lot of um, different things she can do for your team. Next, her S2 is going to be 100% chance to provoke at max mola. Also will give you a pretty fat barrier, and it's a two turn provoke, kind of similar to Falconer Clary, except it doesn't strip and it doesn't defense break. But I'm sure you guys know though, especially if you fight like FCCs, um, getting provoked is just not fun. It is like one of the most annoying CCs in the game because um, it's, basically, it's basically like getting stunned, right? Because you're provoked into a knight and you're not really doing damage. And Lilius has a really thick barrier from this as well, so you're not gonna be doing any damage at all. Now you can soul burn this to ignore effect resist, similar to Falcon and Clary's S3. Um, it's just that she has it in her S2, but it also doesn't strip or defense break, keep in mind. But still very, very powerful. Um, just soul burning this on onto um, you know, like a key unit, like in the middle of the like RTA match or like in the middle of the fight. Very crucial sometimes because you can also provoke like soul weavers with very high Fres as well and stop them from like healing or resing or buffing or whatever. So very, very powerful. And then her S1, also a very powerful skill, guys. Um, it is just a single target attack, but it will trigger a dual attack from a random ally. So if you run her with like two DPS, um, more than half the time you're going to be having a DPS come with you. It's similar to Aeros's S2, except that this one is random instead of Aeros's being a the highest attack uh, unit on your team. And Aeros also has a defense break, but Lilius, Lilius doesn't. Um, so this one's a little bit weaker, guys, but it's still very powerful. Um, so you can't, you know, um, don't ignore her S1, guys. It's really scary to fight against them. When it's Lilius' turn, even though she doesn't have skills up, just keep in mind she can actually deal a lot of damage if she brings the right unit. So overall, Lilius is a very powerful unit. Um, her imprints are okay. You mostly are going to use either the imprint release if you're cleaving with her, or if you're going to use her as a cleanser, her imprint concentration is really nice as well. Um, so yeah, Lilius is a very powerful unit, guys. Um, I think that she is worth pulling for um, mid-game players, late-game players, new, um, new players, like everyone. I think it, it is a must-have unit in your roster. Maybe not must-have, but very, very close, just because how strong she is in PvE and very versatile. Late-game players will want her for PvE for Hall of Trials. Um, early and mid-game players can actually use her in Raid, Asmanac, wherever. Um, of course, you can use Aeros as well, but Lilius does have her merits in some Raid bosses and some of the Abyss 4s as well, where you need extra cleansing. 
And then in PvP, she's always strong as like a cleaver and a cleanser. Um, she's fallen off in the meta a little bit because of the rise of the ice meta right now with the collab units, Rem and Amelia being really strong. Kisei is there too, right? SSB's banner didn't run too far long ago, so she's in the meta everywhere as well, especially for like mid and early game players. But she's still very powerful, guys. Um, just having the full cleanse is really nice. Uh, you can really counter like Basar, you can counter um, just anything that has a lot of debuffs. You can build her super high effect resist and try to have her counter like Fairy Tail Tenebria and Cerise Openers as well. Just a lot of options, and since she's so flexible, guys, I think she's a very solid pickup to have, and I, I recommend pulling for her. And next we have uh, Vivian, an Earth Mage. So, uh, yeah, just looking at her design, guys, there's uh, already two he re huge reasons you should pull for her, right? Um, her outfit's nice, and um, I like the orb she's holding. Those are the two big reasons. But anyways, why you should pull her? So in PvE, very powerful. You actually need her for one-shot comps, like, because um, she has a attack buff that's three turns long, and she can cleave the first wave and one-shot them. So very good for some one-shot comps, like Banshee, Asmanac, right? Um, also very good as a damage dealer in PvE, um, because she does have the uh, attack buff, and she also is very strong in Asmanac 13. She's good in... Um, Raid, you can take her into some Abyss Wars if you need an attack buffer. So just a good unit overall. Um, just a unit that deals a lot of damage with single target and AoE capabilities with an attack buff just makes her very, very powerful. And her exclusive equipment makes her makes it so that um, she basically gets another turn out if she has threes. It is a CR push instead of an extra turn, but the CR push is pretty massive, so it just feels like an extra turn. So very, very powerful in PvE. Um, and in PvP, she can be used as a cleaver, she can also be used as an attack buffer. Um, she also has immunity buff with the attack buff, by the way, guys, so it's very powerful in PvP because it lasts forever. Um, she also um, is picked sometimes in RTA as just like a standalone unit, just because she has so much damage, and attack buffs are just broken in PvP, to be frankly honest. Um, so yeah, a lot of applications everywhere, but most people use her in PvE, and when I picked her up after having my Banshee 13 team built, it just made it so much easier because... Um, you could actually three-man Banshee one-shot with Vivian, and in Asmanac, you kind of need her for Asmanac one-shot. I mean, I guess you don't need her, but it makes it a lot easier. So, very powerful unit. Even if you're early game or mid-game, you don't think you'll use her right away. I think she's worth picking up because there was a time where I skipped out on her banner because I was an early game player, and I was like, wow. I really regret it because I was kind of waiting for her banner to come back ever since because um, you'll get into Banshee one-shotting faster than you think. And she is very good even early in the game if you use her in raid. Very powerful. Attack buff is something that is not to be taken lightly, guys. It is very powerful, so keep that in mind. Um, so looking over her skills real quick, her S3 is going to be the immunity and the attack buff. And we'll give her a greater attack buff, right? So very, very nice. Um, it is three turns as well, so it's super long, guys. Um, so very, very powerful S3. Although you don't get an extra turn, which kind of sucks, you get an exclusive equipment that'll make you push yourself in CR. So um, kind of feels like an extra turn, like I said. And then her S2, um, she's also very good at dog walking, by the way, because of this, if you read the skills. So it's an AoE attack, but when you kill an enemy, um, it'll actually activate again. So uh, very, very powerful. And since it's a two-turn cooldown, when you dog walk, it actually will reset on every wave. So you have it up for every wave if you one-shot with it. So very, very powerful skill. Um, very good in, like, Azimak for clearing waves. Very good in, like, uh, Raid for doing AoE damage against, like, Secretary Vera, Secretary Vera. If you're lacking AoE damage, she's a very powerful AoE damage dealer. And then her S1 is going to be just a basic attack. But you boost your CR by 25% if you crit. It's 10%, goes to 15%. And then if you crit, it goes by 25%. So she cycles super fast. So she'll keep attack buff up on your team forever. So very, very powerful P for PvE, guys. And in PvP, she's super annoying because of her S3 and her cleave potential. She can literally just wipe teams by herself. So her imprint is going to be a crit chance imprint, which is the best imprint in the game besides speed. But speed's really rare. So very good imprint, makes it e um, really easy to gear her. And then the attack imprint's really nice for the imprint release if you want to buff your one-shot and you don't need the crit chance. So overall, I think she is a very powerful unit for both P for PvE and pretty decent in PvP as well. Um, if you have the gear to gear her. Because she does have some high gear requirements in PvP, but I'll go over that in a different video. So very solid unit, guys. I think you guys should pull for her. Both of these units are really good. Um, Smilegate knew to release both of these units because, you know, they kind of sucked us dry with the collab and the uh, Summer Limited. That was kind of weird phrasing, but you guys want to get what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, Vivian, very solid unit. Um, I think she might be slightly more worth than uh, Lilius actually in the current state. A long time ago, I would have said Lilius for sure by a, by a pretty big margin over Vivian. But right now, I think Vivian is 
slightly better than Lilius, although both are very, very strong, and you probably do want to pull both anyways. Um, but yeah, Vivian is technically a better unit in my point of view. And also, she also has those two big reasons. Like I said, her fashion's great, uh, and she's holding, uh, what was it? She was, she was holding the orb. Yeah, th those are the two big reasons. So yeah, um, I think easy pull for both of them if you're um, trying to get into some late game PvE, even mid game PvE, and uh, want to dip your toes in the PvP eventually as well, because they're both able to be used there. And now we're talking about Lilius's artifact. So Lilius's artifact is called Bastion of Prelucia. It'll run, run alongside her. Um, don't pull for this artifact, guys. I don't really ever recommend pulling on banners or artifacts unless it's like limited and you really need them. Like like drinks are worth pulling for, right? Even summertime series was or is worth pulling for because you need that at plus 30. But normal ones, don't pull for, guys. I'm going to say this every single should you pull video so you guys don't waste your bookmarks in case you forget. But yeah, speaking about Bastion of Prelucia, it is a knight exclusive artifact, and basically what it does is that it grants the ally with your highest attack with immunity and a barrier. So it's actually pretty strong because you can run your um, DPS without immunity. Um, the only thing is it's hard to consistently um, use this in uh, RTA because you're going to have to run that DPS always with the Bastion of Prelucia unit, and you can run that DPS without immunity, and you have to make sure neither of them get, get banned. So in my opinion, Bastion of Prelucia is only really good in like... Um, non-RTA where you can kind of you know make sure you run a specific team so like on defenses you can run that specific defense and offense you can always bring the units together um, so very not, not really good in RTA but in like offense and defense teams non-RTA non-world arena she's pr it's pretty decent artifact um, but the thing is like it is a knight artifact and it's pretty niche um, there's a lot of situations where if you have Bastion or Prelucia on one of your knights like if you have an Aureus or Adamant instead it's not like uh it's gonna be worse, right? It'll be either similar or better, to be honest. So I think Bastion of Prelucia is good if you run if you like running like double knights, like protect the DPS comps, then I guess. But yeah, it's not that great, guys. So I don't really recommend wasting your powder on it. Um, because there are some good artifacts, five star artifacts that you can buy from powder shop. Um, but this one is just not worth it in my opinion. So I think you should skip on this one. And next we have Vivian's artifact, Dig Dignus Orb. So um, yeah, this is the orb I was talking about that she was holding, uh, obviously. Um, so this artifact's a mage exclusive artifact, and basically whenever you use a non-attack skill, it'll uh, give you a barrier, like a really fat barrier, and make your next damage skill um, do 15% more damage. Um, I only really ever seen see this used on like a uh, top model Luka, and I actually see it used in like some Katie's one-shot comps where you need like that barrier to survive because Katie's has some like weird mechanics and like it does a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, not very many uses, and it's pretty niche. It used to be very good. Um, I guess Vivian can use it as well because uh, of her S3. Uh, pretty decent for Vivian if you want to use her in PvP and RTA, actually. And also Tom Monoluka, but yeah. Uh, besides those units, um, I don't really think it's too good. If you guys have any, if you guys have seen other uses for it, let me know down in the comments. I'm, I'm not too sure about this because I, I rarely see this besides Vivian and uh, Tom Monoluka. But in my personal opinion, I think it's not really worth pulling for as well. Unless you like using Vivian and Tom Monoluka a lot, then it is worth pulling. Uh, but besides those two units, guys, and if you don't need it for your Katie's one-shot team, then I think this is an easy skip as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for my Shoot Your Pull video, guys. Just to summarize, Lilius and Vivian, very good units. You should pull for them um, if you don't have them. Uh, Vivian being slightly better than Lilius, in my opinion. And both the artifacts are okay. They're not bad. But Bastion, uh, I would only really recommend if you have like a specific team comp in mind that you want to run, where you can make use of, use of the Bastion immunity. And the barrier and Dignus Orb if you want to run like Vivian and Top Model Luka in PvP. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much for my Should You Pull guys. I really hope you enjoy these videos and let me know in the comments down below um, what unit you're pulling for, if you guys are pulling for any at all. And as always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys next video.